Welcome everybody. Today is Friday, March 18th. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about um, jealousy, a little bit about resentment, a little bit about um, envy and covetousness, and how it relates to um, our relationship with God in the Lenten season. Uh, one of the biggest ways that we see jealousy um, right from the start in the Bible is in Genesis and the story of Joseph. Um, Genesis chapter 37 verse 4 says that um, when Joseph's brothers saw that their father loved him best of all his sons, they hated him so much that they would not even greet him. Um, and I think that this is something that we experience even more today than we probably ever have. Um, there's social media where people are constantly sharing their cars and their houses and their vacations um, and their clothes and their jewelry and all sorts of other things that you can possibly share or overshare. Um, so it's very easy to compare what we have with what others have. It's very easy to compare um, where we're at in our journey in life versus where other people are at. It's very easy to compare our blessings with other people's blessings. Um, and while there's certainly uh, a chance to say, hey, I have plenty more than what other, many other people have, um, it's, I think, a little bit more in human nature to say, I don't have as much as this other person has. And I think that, unfortunately, because humanity is sinful, it is also in our nature to um, look at those things and instead of saying, you know, that's okay, I'm at peace, you know, I like my house, I like my car, you know, I'm good with what I have. Um, and I'm certain that there's certain times where um, all of you do do that. There's also times where we probably look at something that someone else has and we think, I wish that I had that. Um, that's something that everybody struggles with. Um, I'm renting a house right now. Our house, uh, the yard is basically a swamp because it's very low lying. Um, and it's about 120 years old and it still has the original like shake shingle, um, brown peeling wooden siding on it. And <laughs> I always tell people that it looks like it's haunted. And it can be very, very difficult to not look at all of the people my age, my friends, um, that have been in the same career for like 10 years or their spouses that have been in the same career for 10 years, which is not the situation that my husband and I are in. And looking around and being watching them buy these like amazing like sub subdivision houses and being like, I wish that we lived there. I wish that we were buying that house. And it's very difficult not to do that and just to be okay and grateful with where we're at. Um, so I sympathize with that struggle, that sin, that, um, that, I mean, it's, it's actually two of the Ten Commandments. One of them is coveting goods and one of them is coveting someone else's wife. So envy takes over um, an entire one-fifth of the commandment. So God really, really doesn't like it when we envy other people, when we are not satisfied with our blessings. Because really when we envy other people, we're just expressing to God that we're not grateful for the things that he has given us. Um, so the problem isn't necessarily wanting to be better or have better. The problem is when we are not grateful for what we already have. The problem is when we feel like our blessings that we have been given are not good enough. And it's important to think about that during Lent because Lent is a time when we are trying to grow and become better and to become more worthy. Um, Lent is a time when we are supposed to be w just washing ourselves in gratitude for God's sacrifice, for Christ's sacrifice, um, for Mary's sacrifice. We are supposed to be completely consumed with understanding that the death of Christ for our sins was the most incredible gift we could have ever given. We should be overwhelmed with gratitude for that. And we should be so aware of our own shortcomings that make us, you know, not even worthy of a gift like that. So the last thing that we should be doing during Lent 
is being resentful and being like, God, you haven't given me enough. You haven't given me what I want. You haven't given me what you've given other people. And I'm upset about that. So we are really, really challenged um, always, but especially during this season, to put aside envy and resentment and jealousy and really to focus on gratitude for the blessings that we have been given. Because all of us, um, if we have a roof over our heads, we are blessed. If we have food on our table, we are blessed. Um, if we have a way to get from A to B, whether that's um, a car or a bus or feet that work and we're not you know, paralyzed, that's a blessing. Um, if we can hear, if we can see, if we can feel, if we can smell, those are all blessings. Um, and we need to be really focusing on those during this Lenten season. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, dear God, thank you for revealing the full extent of your love. And may your love help me to have the courage to see myself as I really am. All of my blessings, all of the things that you have given to me in my life. And please strengthen me in gratitude for those things and in love for you. Amen.